tonight. People not just here in Wisconsin, but across the country are coming together to remember the nine lives lost in a crash Friday morning. It happened in central Wisconsin when authorities say a semi truck crashed into a van at an intersection along State Highway 95. That's in Clark County, about three and a half hours from Milwaukee. Our Kaylee Starl has been covering this crash and joins us live in studio now. And Kaylee, a two-year-old boy is the lone survivor of this crash. And tonight you talked to the person who pulled that child from the wreckage. Ryan, that's right. I spoke with that man today from Nielsville. That's a town not far from where this crash happened. He's a former Marine who saw the semi smash into the van and he jumped into action. Friday, Friday morning, just another day going to work. Nathaniel Yan came to a stop at this intersection. He says what came next was a blur. I couldn't quite fathom the fact that the van was still coming out, knowing that that semi was right there. And by the time, you know, everything happened, it just that semi smashed right into that vehicle. This video shows the aftermath of that crash Friday morning. The Clark County Sheriff says a semi truck crashed into a van. Nine people died, eight in the van and the driver of the semi. I immediately grabbed my phone and called 911 and I ran to the um, to the two victims. I was like, do you need help? Like, I'm I'm here to help and there nobody. I didn't hear anything. In the silence came a cry. I heard a whimpering sound coming next to her under debris and where it turned into a, um, a cry. He rescued a two year old boy who was in the van, the sole survivor of the crash. Family tells TMJ4 the people in the van are part of the Amish community in Berks Garden, Virginia. We're devastated, but they are devastated. Sarah and Jody White live in that part of Virginia and knew some of the victims. I spoke with them over Zoom. They were each special in their own way, and they were just rays of sunshine. Some of the kindest people that you could meet. Now the duo is accepting donations for the families with thousands expected to pay their respects in the coming weeks. We want to take care of them as they would take care of us if it were us. Roughly 900 miles away back here in Wisconsin, people like Nathaniel are also mourning. Today oh, I made a I made a cross and we brought that back to the intersection today and uh, put it for a memorial and and just uh, pay my respects and to get out to the family to to tell them, you know, how sorry I am and 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 to tell them that I did everything I could. This is a truly unimaginable loss and our hearts go out to those families and communities impacted. The family has created a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral expenses. We also have links to groups and organizations in Virginia collecting donations. All of that can be found on our website. Ryan. Yeah, Kaylee, and we know from your reporting last night at 10 that that two year old's grandparents traveled from Virginia to Wisconsin to be with him. And again, our hearts go out to the families impacted here. Thank you for that update tonight.